So you landed on this video because you're curious if you should get the Acer Swift X or the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G14. Two thin and light laptops for the size and performance that they pack, pretty good battery life, and the question is, which one has better performance? Now, right off the bat, the Acer Swift X has the i7-1260P and RTX 3050 Ti GPU. Comes in at around $1,100 to $1,300, depending on when you're watching this video. It has 16 gigs of RAM and anywhere from a 512 to a one terabyte SSD. Now, the G14, on the other hand, comes with the Ryzen 9 6900HS, a RX 6700S, 16 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD and is around this $1,649 range. So really the question is, can you save three to $400 and go for the Swift X above the G14? They both have 100% sRGB color gamut range. They both have webcams. The Asus Zephyrus G14 has slightly better speakers. And I would say it's gonna pack a lot more performance. But the question is, do you need that much performance? What are you doing on the day to day? If you're just doing some basic 4K video editing or graphic design work, or maybe you're doing some digital art or photography, the Acer Swift X will be plenty. However, if you're somebody doing a lot of heavy lifting for 4K video editing, or even you wanna get into 6K video editing, then the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G14 is gonna be a better pick for you. Now, they both have pretty simple keyboard layouts. They just have a basic keyboard, no numpad. Um, and I would say that I like them both equally. They both feel nice under my fingers. But however, the G14 is gonna have a larger trackpad. So that would be one benefit to creators is you don't have to bring a mouse along with you because honestly, the Acer Swift X trackpad is pretty small. I'm gonna give you a quick audio sample of me using the keyboard and trackpad. And then I'm gonna give you an audio sample of the speakers and show you the webcam as well. So you can see what all that looks like compared between these two models. This is the webcam on the Acer Swift X14 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is the webcam on the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G14. Gave us a 720p webcam. Though we do have a webcam, it's still 720p. Not exactly stoked about that, but I am stoked that they have a webcam. It actually looks pretty good. I mean, about as good as a 720p can look. Now the battery life on the G14 is quite a bit better. The reason being is you're able to access iGPU mode or eco mode as Asus calls it and get much more battery life out of the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G14 with the Ryzen 9 6900HS processor. You're gonna be able to get upwards of 11 to 12 hours of battery life for productivity and then the streaming battery life for like streaming videos on YouTube versus about eight hours of productivity and around the six hour range on the Acer Swift X. So definitely better battery life coming out of the Zephyrus G14. But again, you're paying for it. It's about an extra four to $600 for the G14. Now looking at the simulated benchmarks, it would appear that the Acer Swift X is a better laptop from the simulated benchmarks alone. The i7-1260P is showing off really good performance. It's a new technology from Intel competing up against a older technology from Ryzen. So Ryzen, this is the second or even third iteration of the CPU that they've been running where this is a brand new CPU from Intel. So it's showing us more performance in the simulated benchmarks. However, when we get into Photoshop, you can see that the Asus Zephyrus G14 scores a 939 at maximum performance mode inside of Photoshop, whereas the Acer Swift X only scores an 817. So what that's showing me is the combination of the CPU and GPU in the G14 is much more powerful. And I would say, I mean, yeah, it's double the VRAM. The RTX 3050 Ti inside of the Acer Swift X only has four gigs of VRAM. And this is an ultra low power CPU versus the G14 with the eight gigs of VRAM and a more mid range power GPU in the TDP. Now, as we move towards Premiere Pro on the playback, you can manage some 6K playback at half quality on the Acer Swift X. 
4K is gonna be no problem for the Acer Swift X. However, if you're gonna be considering a lot of heavy 4K video editing or even 6K video editing, I would lean you towards the G14. It's just gonna be a better performing laptop. Now, if you're also considering After Effects to be a part of your workflow, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to choose the G14. That extra boost in VRAM for that graphics processing unit really makes a big difference inside of After Effects. If you're gonna do a little light dabbling in After Effects, this could do the trick, but if you're gonna be using it a lot, I would go for the G14. Now, jumping back towards video editing for the export times, I would definitely recommend going with the G14 as well as it has a better export time. Not massively better, but substantial enough that if you're exporting something longer than a nine minute clip, the time would start to add up and give you longer export times. Um, and it could be a bottleneck in your efficiency of workflow. Now, if you're choosing a laptop off of thermal results alone, you might wanna go with the i7-1260P and the Acer Swift X14 versus the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G14. Just gonna have better thermal temperature However, you're gonna have far more ability to customize the fan modes inside of the G14. Really, all you can do with the Acer Swift X is click function F and switch back and forth between cool mode and battery saver mode. That's really about all you can do, where there's a slew of selections inside of the Asus Armory Crate with the G14. Now, looking at 3D modeling, it's not even a competition. This just doesn't have the guts to do 3D modeling. It's an ultra low power processor. It's four gigs of VRAM. It just is really meant for some light gaming rather than heavy 3D modeling or architecture programs. So again, Zephyrus G14 all the way for 3D modeling. Now, punch for punch, if you're somebody not doing a ton of heavy lifting creative work, then the Acer Swift X will be plenty for you. If you're a student who's gonna do some occasional video editing, maybe some gaming and you know, you might be getting into 3D modeling at some point, but that was like a wide range of things you might be doing. Either you're gonna be doing one or, or kind of the other. But again, if you're gonna be doing some light creative work, the Acer Swift X would be great. If you're somebody who's gonna get into some heavy creative work, you're using a lot of files inside of a 4K project, motion graphics, B-roll, extra audio, the like, or even getting into 6K, the G14 is really gonna be the way to go. And especially if you're adding motion graphics, you need to be able to access something like After Effects to produce those graphics. And the G14 really thrives there. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't wanna miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.